Vaishnavi Raghva Joshalu. Silver Lokes to Hyderabad. Neha Manjunath Kagati Vidya Vardaka Sangha Bengaluru. Sri Lakshmi Hem National College Jainagar. Bhavana AJ Nagamani National College Bagepelli. Arjun Gopkumar National Public School, Bengaluru. Achintya Ranjan National Public School, Bengaluru. Aishwarya Ramya Vishwamitra Vidya Vartaka Sangha, Bengaluru. Thank you, sir. Thank you to all of you. May I request now Dr. A.S. Kiran Kumar to act as the gathering. Good afternoon to all of you, Honorable Dr. Sierna Rao, Dr. Ayanga, Dr. Baldevraj, Dr. Amram, Dr. Maya, Dr. Anita Kuru, and all the students who have won this uh, fellowship, Niyas Milaya Prodigy Fellowship, their parents and all the people who have gathered here today. It's indeed a very happy occasion, particularly for this set of students who are getting a significant recognition for their talent. Like what Dr. Baldev Raj was mentioning, we are talking about 1% of the people being gifted. See, if you take that for our country, it's a huge 1 crore people. Now, to dealing with them, making sure each of these people have a opportunity to make use of their gift and talent which they have and nurture it and make sure that it results in a tangible output not only for our country but also for the entire humanity is a tremendous task and a great job. Towards this, this particular activity of identifying and then mentoring them and giving an opportunity to, you can say, sharpen their skills and then making use of these skills contribute to the society. Today, all of us are quite aware that man in his quest for trying to improve the quality of life and provide better living conditions also makes use, makes significant exploitation of the natural resources that what we have and this exploitation which definitely needs to be avoided and it needs to be avoided because we need a sustainable living. If earth has to sustain life, it is definitely necessary that we do not do exploitation. Now for such a thing to happen, the need for newer findings, researches, discoveries and based on that providing through technology solutions to our 
living on this earth is an essential component and here is an entity which is trying to actually bring in some kind of a mechanism where few of the gifted people are actually shown ways and means by which they can actually improve on their capability one it is one thing to have talent but then making sure that that talent gets converted into the real product is a great effort and in this effort i don't think we need to talk about anybody more than professor sena rao for showing the way and all of you awardees have a tremendous uh, opportunity today to not only listen to him but also look at the way he has conducted himself throughout in his life a better world model for science cannot be found let me take this opportunity to wish each one of you a great future but also i would like to remind you while you also have a great future you also have a responsibility because already you are now getting recognized for what talents you have it is definitely a big expectation the country is putting on you so make sure that you make use of all the opportunities that are available to you focus on your goals and then make the right decision and then achieve great success not only for yourself but also for the society and for the country thank you Dr. P. Sadananda Maya to offer his remark on entrepreneurship. Good evening, everybody. Unfortunately, I came for to listen actually to CNR, first of CNR's speech, not to speak. If I am correct, I think the main thing actually why I have selected this uh, jump round up to the program just for one reason. Twenty years back, actually, I think in my restaurant. That was a server. It was very intelligent. So from the beginning, I was watching. Then he was actually when we introduced actually what is called as the billing machine in I think about uh, 25 years back. He was the first one to learn. Then I told him, I think, can you learn? Actually, I think I will. I will he was SLC passed. Then actually, I think I sent him to Union College. Then he became an engineer, software engineer. That is that I want to, don't want to go out of uh, India at that time. We have just started at that time. I think uh, the SAP. It is about 20 years back. And I told him, I think, can you handle this uh, implementation of uh, SAP? He said, I will try. <coughs> Today, the gentleman is head of SAP lab in USA. This kind of opportunities are available. I think you might have seen actually in economics times about one hour and a half months back. I think you are now actually think we are <coughs> saying what more than hundred people I think I have developed and they are working with us or they gone out. My intention is actually that one person. What I think uh, whether it is uh, Sita Ramayengar or uh, the other gentleman said. I think my feeling is I think we should have. That one person, the entire one person should get the Nobel Prize. I think we have to see the whole whole world of CNR Rao. I don't want to talk more. CNR Rao, I think I want to listen to him. I think this is the fourth time I think I am listening to his lecture. Thank you. Now I request Umesh Sara, Vijay Composite College, Bengaluru. Come and speak a few words on behalf of the awardees for a minute. First of all, good evening to one and all present here, Professor C N R Rao sir, uh, Dr A P N Kumar sir, Professor Sadananda Maya sir, Baldev Raj sir, S C Sayangar sir, and Dr A H Ram Rao sir. I think I'm I feel extremely honored uh, to have won this uh, award and to be one among those ten. Uh, sitting there, and uh, I would like. I'm extremely thankful for all these dignitaries over here 
for awarding us with such a prestigious honor. And to add the cherry on the topping, we are an Indian Institute of Science. It is one of the most prestigious university in the entire world. Uh, and receiving this award from Professor C. N. R. Rao sir is just amazing. Uh, I don't think so we can get a, a, this kind of um, gathering of such legends ever. I think each one of them is a legend in themselves and they are uh, great. They are like a huge inspiration to all of all the young as well as everybody sitting here. And I would like to talk a few words about this program, Niaz Maya Fellowship Program. As we know that, as we got to know that this is the most, one of the most uniquest program, programs I've ever seen. Here, unlike those other fellowship programs wherein you know, students are, de, are judged based upon their merit or how much they score in a particular exam, this is something really out of the box. I would like to appreciate that a lot. Here, we were made to think out of the box. Uh, here, we were encouraged about our uniqueness. Uh, I guess we were also um, encouraged upon various things such as our new ideas, uh, our talents were encouraged, which are usually which is not usually seen in any other programs. And I, it gives me, I feel extremely honored to be part of such a prestigious, prestigious program. And uh, I would like to congratulate all my fellows over there. Um, and I would say all the best to all of us. And let's hope to um, stand up or put up to all the expectations that we these dignitaries have with us. Let's hope to have a better future. Let's hope to make our country even more better. Let's see how we as young students of India can make our country a better place to live in. And by saying this, I would like to conclude my talk um, that I would again thank all of each one of them for giving us an opportunity and giving me this opportunity to share my feelings. Thank you. May I invite Aishwarya Ramya Vishwamitra to speak a few words on behalf of the trustees, I mean awardees. Good evening. Everyone wants to be heard. Everybody wants their existence to be validated. And I think that young people have so much energy and we want to be listened to more than anybody else. I think we all agree that the future and this world rests on our shoulders. But what people don't realize is that we don't need much. All we need is an opportunity. Which is why we are all very grateful to all of you for giving us this opportunity. And we will make much use of it. We had to write an essay, and I think most of us wrote about concepts like environment and climate change. And we all know about climate change, we all know about these topics. But people don't have the time. But we do. And now we have the resources. I said something in my interview that confused everybody and myself, was that my ideas are vested in me. And by that I meant that we believe that we have a very deep potential. So I think I can say from all of us that by the power vested in us, we promise to make our ideas and dreams, to make our current reality into a better one. Thank you. <laughs>